Hi, I'm Julie and this is Eric. We're here to have a discussion about technology and how it affects our lives as discussed in with week 3 with Jason Bridges. Well, GPS technology is really one of the topics that interest me. I used to use Garmin GPS systems in the military and I can now use them on my phone and even my watch to train. I used to have to check a map or use my car's odometer to measure my run distances. Now I can just take my GPS with me on my wrist or carry my iPhone with all kinds of GPS tech. GPS systems operate with two pieces of equipment. Satellites and GPS receivers work together to plot locations. The distance of a satellite transmission tells a receiver location. GPS is great for business people who spend a lot of time on the road. It's important to remember that GPS systems require an open view to the sky to access satellite networks. Technology has evolved so much in a short time. For instance, my job at American Greetings requires the use of a wireless computer, specifically a Motorola MC65. The MC65 allows me to do my job more efficiently. I can scan a barcode for a product and instantly be notified of the location. It helps with inventory control, sales and credits. Aside from my computer, my iPhone is an effective tool that helps me to stay on top of my job as well. I can make phone calls, check emails, text, and visit the company website. That's great, Julie. It's amazing how much an impact technology has on our professional and personal lives. Technology allows businesses and people to be more efficient. You're exactly right, Eric. The Internet has helped create a direct connection to the consumer that is more open, efficient, and makes shopping in your underwear a breeze. Julie, that's exactly right. Databases and other applications also make companies more secure and allow them to help their customers more efficiently. I can't imagine how many mistakes I would make at work if I had to keep up with documents and records in filing cabinets. It's great to have computers to manage the office. Well, Julie. It's been great, but I have to get going. Thanks for the coffee and the conversation. If you're up for more, Brian may be tired of talking to that chair.